Brandon, one of the things I've heard about you is that uh, recently you've kind of changed your major and, and maybe changed your plans about what you want to do in the future. So the question is, what are you going to do once you graduate from William Jewell? I'm thinking about going into nonprofit, maybe business, um, maybe being a basketball trainer. I, I haven't really pinned it down yet, but something on the business side. Did you come to school kind of looking for, I don't know, a vocation, or were you set on something, or uh, how does that work? I was set on a, being a pastor, actually, but um, after I got exposed to the classes I wanted, uh, I chose, I decided I wanted to go a different route. So, Come from a kind of a religious background? Um, I mean, I went to church growing all the way, all, all the time when I was growing up, but nothing much. Like, dad wasn't a pastor, nobody was a pastor, but I just felt called for a little bit there, so... Let's talk a little bit about basketball. And uh, you came from a uh, high school. And uh, what position did you play in high school? Um, I was the two guard, or sometimes the one two. We had uh, all state guard where I was at too. So we both just flip flop there. How has that led to the transition to college? I mean, are you asked to play the two here a lot, uh, or has it been a change in which you've got to learn several positions? Um, yeah, I learned probably the one and the two, the same same type of thing. Kind of a little bit of the three because we're small in the guard spot, but. Yeah, I'm learning about three spots right now. So, Brandon Shear is our guest here in the halftime show. And uh, as as you come to college, Larry Holly has a reputation of having some pretty intricate offenses, especially. Let's talk about offense. Has it been tough to pick that up? Um, I mean, you have to put your mind to it, but it's not that it's not that complicated when you just, like focus on it. So it's been really good. It's really effective. I love it. What part about it is uh, is appealing to you? Uh, the continuity. Um, there's out there are aspects on each side of the court there. There's nobody that's left out. So I like that part of it. As a young player, I'm sure you're not playing as much as you uh, are accustomed to playing. How do you handle that aspect of it being a first year player? Um, you gotta accept your role. You gotta do what you can at the best of your ability. So right now, us and the three other freshmen, we accept our role and we, we fight for our minutes, but when we're on the bench, we're helping other guys, encouraging them in timeouts, getting water, whatever we need to do to help the team, we're doing it. Well, that's interesting you say it that way because uh, I think a lot of people might feel like, oh, well, I'm not playing, I'm not going to be into the game or whatever, but, but you really feel like you're part of things? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, in practice, we're always there to push the guys, and we got to make sure that they're getting better too and making sure we're getting better. So it's a, it's a both ways type of thing. So Back in the day when we used to have a JV program, you probably would have picked up minutes that way, but since that's no longer available, I would imagine those practices become pretty big to you. Yeah, I've really have to buy in and make sure that I make the most of each rep and make sure I get my own time off the court as well. So. Speaking of that, is uh, the adjustment to being a, uh, a scholar at Jewel and an athlete at Jewel kind of tough? Um, Jewel is very demanding academically. Um, first semester was hard with the religion class I was taking, a lot of reading. But um, I've learned the balance, and I'm really excited what this semester and the next years to come offer me. So, What's, uh, What are you looking forward to doing in school? since you put it that way? Um, I'm looking forward to really diving into this business program, seeing if there's anything on the leadership side I could do. Um, I'm really looking forward to, on the basketball team, just getting to know the guys really and making more connections through that. Um, maybe trying to bring more people to the crowd, to the games. Um, it's a little low right now, but once we start winning games, I feel like we could do a really packed place, so. Yeah, that's another thing, and I'm glad you brought that up, is that I'm, uh, it's been tough to win this year. It's, uh, there's just no way around it. Uh, how do the guys handle that? Um, it's, sometimes it's really hard, but sometimes we just realize we've got to do the little things. And uh, when we are on that two-game winning streak, we are doing the little things. we just got to get back to that, and hopefully we'll do that today. Our guest is Brandon Shearer as we talk here at halftime of the uh, game with Maryville. Uh, the road trip's a little bit more extensive. I, I would guess you probably played some club ball, but uh, how, are, how are the road trips so far for you? Oh, they're a blast. I love the team. Freshmen, we're always hanging out. Um, everybody on the team gets along. Um, it's just a blast. All 72 hours, however long we're here, I love it. Well, I'm going to ask you the same question in a week after we get back from Wisconsin Parkside and Lewis and see how you feel about that because that's a long time in a bus. Where did you grow up? And uh, tell us a little bit about your family. Um, I grew up in Buckley, Washington. Uh, hello to all those White River alumni out there. Um, my family, uh, we're a foster adopt family. I have an adopted sister who is four. No, she, yeah, she's four, four years old. Um, I have a baby brother and then... Um, my my biological sister, she is in eighth grade right now. So, yeah, really busy. Um, my sister, she plays basketball. Uh, she's a little hurt right now, a little sick too, but she's getting back at it. Um, 
Bailey, uh, she's just a energy, energy, energy. And then Nick, he's all smiles all the time. I love him. Pride and joy. Well, you know, I'm going to say this, that you're one of the more outgoing freshmen that I've seen. Uh, you come through the gates here recently. And is that a family trait? Um, my dad's pretty outgoing. My mom, uh, her and I, we always joke around, like, uh, in her like a relationship type type of side, we're really like close to each other and like have a lot of jokes there. But um, I mean, yeah, I guess sure. And Brandon, how did you come from Washington to Liberty, Missouri? Um, it's a funny story, actually. My dad's cousin Corey Shear is the dean of admissions, and um, I came out to see see that say hi to their family, and uh, he wanted me to see the campus. And I saw it, and I fell in love immediately, and uh, I felt called to do it. Like I said, I wanted to be a pastor, so I felt called to be down here and. Um, I just feel like this is a place where I can really grow and I feel connected. So, Long way from home, though. How does that uh, affect you? Um, yeah, it's very challenging at times, um, but it's what God called me to do, and it's going to pull some things out of me that are really good and grow some strengths that are weaknesses right now. So. Well, Brandon, thank you for taking the time. I, I stopped for you know for everybody's information. You on your way to breakfast after practice, so I appreciate <laughs> you taking the time. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Our guest has been Brandon Shear, and we'll be back with more in a moment. <laughs>